I never know what to say in the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, things look a little different in here. Like my backdrop is white and boring. <laughs> like there's nothing going on here. And honestly, I was gonna do my regular backdrop that I usually do when I do my hair tutorials, but I already had my backdrop up a couple days ago because I did some photos back here. And I was just like, you know what? I haven't filmed with a backdrop in a long, long, long time. And I just felt like doing it today. So let me know if you guys like the backdrop or just go back to my regular, you know. I mean, I don't have to do white backdrop. I can do something else. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling, but if you're new here, I'm Rochelle and I pretty much do a lot of hair wig tutorials. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly cut your lace. And I promise you, this video is gonna be beginner friendly. Anybody can do this. So it's all about cutting the lace, which I feel like if you're wearing wigs or if you're new to wigs, it's probably one, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> but I feel, I should put it on vibrate. When it comes to wearing wigs, I feel like that is probably one of the hardest things to do is cutting the lace. And you don't wanna cut too much because if you cut too much, then you can't really wear the wig, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to properly do it and how to do it really, really easy. I have my wig right here and it is from Hair Vivi. I've worn their wigs quite a few times now. I have tutorials on their wigs. And this wig is a beginner friendly because you do not have to bleach the knots. The knots are already pre-bleached, pre-plucked. And I mean, if you wanna go over and pre-pluck, the hairline a little bit more you can but i think they do a pretty good job of pre-plucking the hairline and everything looks good and the lace is like super super thin lace so it's gonna blend really nicely on any skin tone this is literally gonna be fresh out the box tutorial and i'm gonna show you guys everything i got in here i have these little clips i'm not sure of what they're called i think they're alligator clips i'm not sure but you guys can comment down below and let me know but i usually like using these for when i'm clipping up my hair and cutting the lace and i got my little edge brush which i always use i don't do a lot of baby hairs but i do create a little so i need the edge brush for that do they have a wig cap in here okay all right so this is the wig anywho so this is the wig that i got from them and it has some highlights in it and this one is about, I think this is 16 inches. I might be wrong, could be 18. This is what the Hair BB wig looks like on the inside. If you guys seen my other videos for them, they all have this. It's basically like a fake scalp. So you don't need to do that ball cap method that I usually wear with all my wigs. You can skip that part. And I still wear a wig cap under my wigs because I feel like it does protect my edges. So I always wear a wig cap. Now, as for the little combs, I don't really use these. So I'm gonna take these out. And I love the comb in the back because it's super big. So it really goes all the way across to the nape. And it has this elastic band. So you have the option of wearing the wig glueless if you want to. Okay, so I have my wig cap on and now I'm gonna go ahead and try this wig on just to see how it looks. Ooh, this wig is fitting super, super snug. The wig is on my head and as you can see, the hairline, especially in the front, I like it. It goes down a bit low. I naturally have a widow's peak, so I like that. Now, as for the side, I do think, even though they do have pre-plucked wigs, and they do a good job of pre-plucking the wig. It's still a little full for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze that out a bit and then I'll be right back and show you guys how I cut that lace. I did a little tweezing on the wig, not a lot. I will probably do more tweezing once the wig is actually glued down. When it comes to cutting lace, everyone has their own little routine that they do. I like to cut in sections because I find that it's a lot easier and I won't make any mistakes that way. So I don't like to just, I don't do that because I ain't trying to make no mistakes. I like to do it in sections, take my time. Okay, so let's talk about the tools that you need to cut your lace. Me personally, I like using a scissors. So like this little baby scissors right here. Um, I have a big scissors as well. So you could use a big scissors if you prefer that. I just like using these little scissors because I just find that it's so much easier to like, you know, cut the lace. And I like to cut it kind of jaggedy. I don't just cut it like straight, like just cut it straight. Because if you cut it straight, um, when you apply your wig or you glue it down, it's literally just gonna look straight like that. And naturally, no one's hairline is like that. So it's gonna look 
very wiggy, very fake. It's just gonna scream wig. Yes, we know this is a wig, but at the end of the day, application matters, okay? It matters. Like when I go out and people see my wig in person, they'll be like, yeah, girl, she's laid. Even though they know it's a wig, she's laid, all right? And now you can also use a razor. Now I have used this one a lot in a lot of my videos. I have done the razor. I used to use the razor majority of the time. I still like it every now and then. If you're not really good with the scissors and you really wanna get it to be jaggedy, the razor is your best bet. Sometimes I find I go a little too close to my skin with these, especially with the HE lace. Like, are you seeing the lace? Ma'am, she's practically invisible, so it's not that easy to cut sometimes. Like, I really have to be looking like really into the mirror to make sure I see what I'm doing when it comes to these laces, because they're so thin. For me, the hardest part to cut is this guy right here, the ear, especially when I'm doing it on camera. This is the part that you really do not want to mess up on because let's say you want to wear your hair in like a half up, half down situation. It would be really hard to do that if you cut off this much of the lace. So you gotta be very careful. Make sure you cut it around the ear. That way you have hair to work with if you're gonna put your hair up. Pull my ear out like this. That way I can have a better idea of where I need to cut this. And I'm gonna shift this over just a tad bit. Okay, so I just shift my wig over. That way I can cut it around the ear. And this wig, the hairline does go pretty far down. My hairline doesn't naturally go that far down, but it's okay, we can work with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and just clip the hair out of the way. Remember I told you those clips are gonna come in very handy. And I'm gonna go in with my little baby scissors. See, the thing about these pre-plucked, um, pre-made wig, they make it really easy for you so you know exactly where to cut it. And I like to leave just a little bit of lace on there just for the sideburns when I'm uh, gluing down the lace. Sorry guys, it's like really hard to talk and cut at the same time. We cut the first lace and this is pretty much how much lace I cut off. And it looks good, I'm here for it. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well, get that side out of the way. I just wanna get the air tabs out of the way because like I said, they are usually the part that is, for me, I find it's the hardest and the most frustrating part. Like I know it looks like wigs are so much work, but once, like, once this is gone, once the lace is gone, ma'am, you just pop that on your head and that's it. You ain't gotta cut it again. All right, so usually when I'm filming my videos, I do the glue and then cut, but because this video is mainly about just cutting the lace, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not gonna glue down anything. I'm just gonna go right ahead and cut that lace. I like to cut it in the middle, like to start in the middle like this, and it doesn't really matter if the line is straight. This lace is so thin, oh my gosh, I can barely see it. Hold the lace like that and just start cutting away. Okay, so now I'm gonna start cutting up this lace. So. As you can see, I'm going like this. I'm going very jaggedy. I am not going straight like that. Are you seeing that? <laughs> Lace is going bye-bye. Bye, girl. We do not need you. And as for the sideburn, I like to leave a little bit of that lace hanging. When I glue down my wig, I need that little bit of lace. Now, as you can see, there's still a lot of lace right here around the hairline. So now I'm gonna go in with my little scissors. See, this is why I like using the scissors because with the razor, I can't really get up in there, you know, and cut away all that excess. I basically like cut it around my hairline. Now we cut the lace and there's still a little bit of lace and I'm fine with that because once I glue that down, it's gonna be melted and I still need a little bit of glue to work with. I don't just cut off every bit of the lace all the way up to the hairline because you need something. You need a little lace for the wig to sit on your head even if you're gonna wear it glueless, right? Okay, so I cut the first side off. She's done, she's completed and love it. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. And like I said, guys, this is why I do it in sections because for me, even though I've been wearing wigs for a very long time, I find that this is just a lot easier and I'm not gonna make any mistakes like this. I'm not gonna end up ruining my wig like this. If I just do one big cut, I'd end up messing the whole damn thing up. All right, so the lace is cut and honestly, I've been wearing wigs for a long time and for me, this is the technique that works best for me. You guys can definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think. But I'm gonna go ahead and just glue down this wig right now and style it and come back. But yeah, this is pretty much 
it when it comes to cutting the lace. Finish, my hair is done. Why am I singing? I don't know. Okay, so the wig is on, she's all glued down. Hopefully this video was really helpful to you guys and hopefully I give you guys a lot of details on how to properly cut your lace and Let me know if you find this video helpful Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this where I do talk through but yeah I will see you guys in another video very very soon. I love you guys and thank you for watching Bye